I'm sharing with you how to make French crepes. These make a perfect weekend brunch served with lemon and sugar or Nutella and cream for dessert. Welcome to Recipes by Karina, where I share with you how to make classic and simply delicious recipes. Make sure to subscribe for a new video each week. To make these French crepes, measure out one cup or 125 grams of standard or all-purpose flour. Place a sieve over the mixing bowl and pour in the flour, sieving it through to remove any lumps. This is an important step as it's such a delicate batter that we definitely don't want any lumps in. You'll notice I give the recipe amounts in metric and imperial, so no matter where you're from in the world, it should be easy enough to follow. If you'd like the full recipe for these French crepes, it will be on my website, as well as the full measurements in the description box below. Add a pinch of salt to the flour and use a whisk to combine the ingredients and set the bowl to the side. One of the reasons I love making crepes is they only require 5 ingredients, all of which I always have on hand. You can enjoy them in so many ways, savoury, sweet, breakfast, lunch, dinner, dessert. They're just as much about what you fill them with as they are about the crepe itself. In a smaller bowl, begin measuring out the wet ingredients. We'll need two medium sized eggs for this recipe. Crack them both into the bowl and using a whisk give them a good mix so the whites and yolks are completely combined. Make sure your eggs are at room temperature. If you store them in the fridge, just remove them about 30 minutes or so before you start making these crepes. Measure out the milk. I'm using skim here, but any kind you would like will work fine. Pour the milk into the mixing bowl with the beaten eggs and using the whisk combine the ingredients together well. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever made your own crepes before and what your favourite fillings are. I can't go past lemon and sugar, so simple but so delicious, although I would love some new flavour ideas. When the milk is fully mixed with the eggs, we're ready to combine the wet and dry ingredients together. Start to add a small amount of the wet ingredients to, into the bowl with the dry. I would say about a quarter of the mixture. Use your whisk here and give the batter a really good mix. Our goal here is to try eliminate the chance of lumps in the batter, which is why we're only adding a small amount at a time. You should have quite a thick batter, so once everything is well combined, add another quarter of the wet ingredients and give it another mix. From here, you just need to keep slowly adding the wet ingredients, quarter at a time, giving the batter a thorough mix in between. Once you've finished, if you do have any lumps, these can easily be removed by pouring the batter through a sieve. This can be quite a bit of work, and if you do want a little shortcut that's not exactly the traditional way of making something, but works perfectly well, you can add everything to a blender and let that do the work for you. It removes 100% of the lumps, mixes everything perfectly, and doesn't take much time or effort at all. Lastly, for these crepes, we'll need a small amount of melted butter. Melt this in the microwave or in a small pot and add to the crepe batter, whisking it in well. Ideally, this crepe batter now needs to rest. As we've whisked it, you'll notice most recipes say not to overmix as this creates a tough product. This much mixing develops gluten in the flour, so resting it rests the gluten, helping the batter to relax, making it less likely to tear. If I'm making crepes, I'll usually make them the night before so they can spend the night in the fridge ready to be cooked the next morning. But if you don't have that kind of time, an hour or so will do the trick. When you're ready to make your crepes, heat a fry pan or crepe pan over medium heat. I have a special crepe pan, the only real difference is that it has low sides, making it so easy to flip these. But if you don't have one, a large regular fry pan will be perfectly fine. 
Using a pastry brush or a paper towel dipped in melted butter, grease the pan. You don't want to add butter straight to the pan as we only want a super light layer. Using a ladle or measuring cup, measure about a quarter or so of a cup full of batter and pour it into the pan. I'm using a crepe tool to evenly spread my crepes, but you can also achieve this by tilting the pan to cover. A crepe tool just means you'll get perfect round crepes every single time. Cook the crepes over medium heat for about 30 seconds to a minute until you can see the top of the crepe is setting. Using an offset spatula, get under the side of the crepe and flip it with the help of your hands. These are so delicate, so make sure you're extra careful. Cook the crepe for a further 30 seconds on the next side before removing from the pan and continuing with the remainder of your batter. Keep them warm under a tea towel until you are ready to serve. I enjoy them best the classic way with fresh lemon juice and a dusting of sugar, but the toppings are endless. Let me know if you're going to try this recipe and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for new recipes each week. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on my next video.